What's going on? My name is Anton. It is October 31st, so happy Halloween. Hope you get lots of candy today and you stay safe out there for those of you who are going trick or treating. Now, I am super excited for today's episode of GTA 5 Cars, and that is because I am driving the Bentley Continental Super Sport. Now, say whatever you want about Bentleys. I love them. I love, 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 love the Bentleys. I think they look fantastic. It's a great, great car, and they are super fast as well, as you'll see on today's episode. I know what some of you might say. You, you might say, well, you know, a Ferrari looks better. A Ferrari is, you know, faster. Mm, I don't know if it's faster. It might look better. I will agree with you there, but I think the Bentleys are awesome vehicles, and we are definitely going to be checking out one of them on today's episode. So, Let's dive right in. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the car. I'll show you the model here in the game also. And then we're going to do our time trial run. And we'll see how fast we can get from here where we are right now, which is the Rockford Hills Golf Club. And we're going down to the lighthouse on the, I believe, the east side of Grapeseed. So that's where we're going to head out. But before we do that, let's dive right in and take a look at this vehicle. 13 years ago, the Bentley Continental GT made its debut. And back then, it impressed everyone with its 12-cylinder engine, capable of producing 551 horsepower. Now, the 2017 Continental Super Sports packs 700 horsepower, making it the fastest Bentley road car in history and the fastest four-seat coupe in the world. Those 700 horses are packed inside a 6-liter W12 engine with upgrades like bigger turbochargers, which take the Super Sport from 0 to 60 in just 3.4 seconds, and then quickly onto its top speed of 209 miles per hour. Compared to the other Bentley Continental models, the Super Sports comes with a body kit including carbon fiber front splitter, side skirts, and a rear diffuser. There are also various vents and grills on the hood and fenders, which are finished in gloss black, and the taillights are slightly tinted as well. Buyers can also choose from 90 different paint colors. And there are eight special duotone paint schemes, which are available as part of an optional X package for a mere $31,000. Like, what is that? That's nothing. Clearly, the Super Sports is a luxury car. And that is evident on the inside as well. In the cabin, you'll find tritone leather, Alicantra seating with diamond quilt stitch design, there's also checkered carbon fiber panels made out of hundreds of thousands of individual carbon strands which are polished to a gloss finish. And there are 11 different veneers to choose from. Yep, I feel like a rich snob already. The entire driver instrument panel has been digitalized as well and it can display everything from speed down to navigation. Starting at about $300,000, only 710 Supersports are being built. Why 710, you might ask? Well, because that is the engine output in... 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 for... for... for the star gang... Wow! Whatever that word is, that is what the Germans call metric horsepower of an engine. So, who's buying one of these? Uh, I would like one. Sign me up for one of these, right? If only. But as you can see, it's a great model here created by Abdullah KW. I believe it's ported over from uh, Forza Motorsport. That's the game where this model comes from. But Abdullah did a great job bringing it here into the world of GTA 5. And now, I cannot wait to take it for a speed trial run. As I mentioned, we are going to go here from the golf course in Rockford Hills down to the lighthouse. So let me get on to the starting line where I will meet you and then... We'll see how fast we can make it down to the lighthouse. All right, I'm at the starting line and I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Let's start a crown down. Three, two, one, go. And we are off coming right out of the golf course here, getting onto Dorset Drive like that, drifting a little bit. The sun shining right into my eyes here as it's rising over the city of Los Santos. Let's get through this intersection. I can't see anything. Oh my God, there's cars there. There's a lot of cars everywhere. Everybody's going to work as we're trying to race here. Oh man, the sun is, the, the flare right now is just right in my eyes. It is real. It is real, I can't see anything. Oh man, here as we're trying to rip it up now onto, uh, where are we? Howick Avenue is where we are. All right, let's go, 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 go. 
I try to take it easy here. I don't want to crash, but it is hard to see these vehicles. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. That was nice. Slowing down a little bit here as we're about to get onto the interstate right over here with this taxi. There we go. Huge truck right up ahead. I'm going to see if I can squeeze right through here. There we go. Nicely done there as we're now on Interstate 1 heading north on Interstate 1 towards Grapeseed. We try to squeeze through. Rush our traffic. Oh, whoa. That guy just made a turn out of nowhere. I completely destroyed him. Oh, well, sucks for him. Try to squeeze through more of this traffic. They're sideswiping both of those vehicles. They're definitely not going to be happy about that. Here's so we're going to open up the Bentley with those 700 horses now to 200 miles an hour is what we're trying to get to here. I'm just flying past these vehicles here. All right, there we go. I see the windmills. That means we're getting close here to where we need to go. That was really close. That was a little too close for comfort here. Squeezing through some of these cars. All right, there we go. The sun is shining in my eyes again. Probably not a good idea to do this run early in the morning, right? So we try to get around these cars on the shoulder here, using the shoulder to our full advantage. All right, I think our turn is going to be coming up. I'm trying to keep it together here on this turn. Oh, that was a cop. I cannot believe he didn't pull us over. Probably didn't even see me come by here. Slowing down for our turn. Let's make our turn right there. Nicely done. All right, back accelerating again. Oh, drifting on this corner too. We're right around this car. Whoa, another cop. How are they not pulling me over? They're like, oh, it's fine. He's just doing a time trial run. We don't want to pull him over. All right, making another turn here now. We are on Catfish View. We have one more tight turn coming up as the sun is again shining right into my eyes. Here, making a turn right here on the bridge. Oh, there goes a little bit of the body. That's actually not too bad. All right, I see the finish line. We're coming up on our finish line. And here we go. Oh, drifting. Oh, fail. Oh, what a fail. I didn't actually get to the finish line. Oh, no. I did not even cross the finish line as we sink to the bottom. To the bottom of the... The timer is still running. Oh, man. Let me go ahead and stop that. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We just sank right to the bottom. We never even finished. Well, the, I stopped the timer pretty much at 2 minutes and 58 seconds. <laughs> and I guess... I guess we never really finished our run since uh, we never crossed the finish line. The finish line was uh, was up there. It was... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but it's up there. It was a bunch of those barriers, and I never smashed through the barriers. I ended up uh, drifting and hitting a tree. So let's see who's going to get the shout-out. I'm still going to give a shout-out to somebody, even though I did not make it to the finish line. The shout-out is going to go, looks like, to Mr. Hotshot who guessed 2 minutes and 58 seconds, and I would have done it. I would have been very, very close. Maybe 2 minutes 59 seconds if I, if I actually crossed the finish line, which I did not. So technically, this time trial run was a bit of a fail, but that's it. That was the only vehicle that we had, and it, it is at the bottom of the ocean now. So there goes $300,000. But Mr. Hotshot, shout-out to you. Great guess there at 2 minutes and 58 seconds there. Looks like Deepak Kumar is going to get an honorable mention there. He guessed three minutes. And again, I was pretty much right there. Three minutes. Everybody else was actually at about three and a half minute mark. That's where a lot of guesses came in. As you can see, I would have been way faster than that, even if I did cross the finish line. So let's hope that next week goes a little bit better because that is when I'm going to be giving out the next shout out. Now, if you do want the shout out, make sure you check out the next episode. I will be driving the Tesla the Tesla Model S, and we're going to drive it. This is going to be another long one here. We're going to drive it starting at the docks there in the south of Los Santos, all the way up to the Humane Labs facility. So it's going to be another long run. So make sure you go into the comments for this video down below and post your guess as to how long you think it's going to take me from the docks to get the Tesla up to the Humane Labs facility. Whoever comes the closest, just like I did in this episode, I will give you a shout out. That's it. That is going to do it for me. <laughs> what, what an end it is. But hey, listen, you never know what's going to happen on one of these episodes of GTA 5 Cars. I appreciate you watching. Hit that smash, uh, smash, hit that smash, smash that like button. It goes a long way to help me here with my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will see you on the next episode. Bye.